All right, today I'm gonna show you how to find current with a problem like this, where it's asking you to find V out, uh, circuit analysis two, and you're working with imaginary numbers. So what I've done here is I've done mesh analysis on this first side and the second side, and I need I2 because I'm looking for V out. So I just need the current I2 multiplied by the resistor one ohm and I will have my V out. So I've gone ahead and I've already gotten the two uh, mesh analysis. The first one's 24 equals I1 2 plus J plus J1 I2. The second one is zero, um, which just equals to that. I've put it in a matrix. It's 24, zero, two plus J6, J, J, two plus J3. And I'm looking for current I1 and I2. So that's the current I'm looking for. Now on this TI-84, it will not let you work with imaginary numbers. But here I'm gonna show you what you do. So A, B, negative B, A. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna expand every single term and you're gonna turn it into a two by two. So since this is one, two, three, by two, uh, since this is two by three, you, you, you double it. So this becomes four by six. This was three by three, it would double, so it would be six by six. So since this is two by three, again, it will just be four by six. So I'm gonna go ahead, second. So let me quit. First, you're gonna make sure that your mode is in degree and it's A plus BI. Then you're going to go second matrix, go over to edit, and I'm going to choose four by six. So this is the important part as I was writing A minus A, B, negative B. So this is how I'm going to copy this down. Like I said, it's going to be a four by six. So the first term, two plus J six, you put a two, that's your A. Your B is the second term, which is a six. So you put that underneath and then you flip the B so it becomes a negative 6 and then you put your 2 again. So that's just for the first term. The second term is just a J since it's the second part and there's no real number. So it would just be 0 and your B is a 1 which is just a J. Then it's a negative 1 and a 0. Now we go on to this J which again doesn't have the first part. It's just the second part. So the A is just a 0. And then it's a 1 for the J, and then a negative 1, and then a 0 again. Now we go to 2 plus J3. The first part is a 2. The B part is a 3. You flip the B, negative 3, and then you put the 2 back in there. So that takes care of these four guys right here. Now you need the 24 and the 0. So the 24 and the 0 is the same concept. Since there's no imaginary part, you're going to put... For the A part, you're going to put 24. For the B part, you're going to put 0. Then you put a 0, and you put the 24 again. Since that part's a 0, you're just going to put four zeros. And believe it or not, this is what you type. So this is a 4 by 6 matrix. That's what you're going to type in the calculator. So I'm going to go off of this. So I'm going to do... 2, negative 6, 0, negative 1, 24, 0, 6, 2, 1, 0, 0, 24, 0, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0. Then second quit, second matrix, go over to math, scroll up, and then click on RREF. Second matrix again. You're going to choose the one that you stored it in. Close bracket and press enter. Believe it or not, so this would be I1. Since how we have it set up here, I1, I2. So that top two is... The first part's the real number, the second part's the imaginary, and this is your I2. So how I would write this is 
I2 equals negative 0 0.8763 plus J 0 0.6329. So I'm going to type that into the calculator and turn it into polar. So I'm going to type that in real quick. So negative 0 0.8763 plus second uh, decimal right here. So I for the J and then 0 0.6329. Press enter. Once it's stored in there, you're going to click on math. You're going to scroll over to CPX complex. You're going to press number seven for polar. And there's your answer. So my I2 current is 1.081 angle 144 degrees. Amps. That's how you do that on the TI-84. So I hope this helps.